morning folks, welcome to another walk with Harvey. It's another walk with the uh, Connecting Humans and I, or Northern Ireland Humanists as it's sometimes known. And uh, Harvey's here as usual. But today we've got Amelia as well, say hello Amelia. Say hi. No, she's not looking impressed, Will Pearly. And Rosie's with us too. Hello. So we're just going to get going, the other guys are already here. We're about 10 minutes late. Lots of running about to do this morning. But yeah, Divis Mountain, another one of the Belfast Mountains. It's over there, so we'll get going. Speak to you in a bit. Shimmer no ways Still the air Keep the quiet And I'll understand your every word Shimmer no ways Still the air Keep the quiet and I'll understand your every word. So one of the issues of bringing a two and a half year old with you, you know you're going to be carrying them at some point, so uh, may as well accept that. I could always treat it as training for carrying a big heavy rucksack. But she'll be walking some other way. Be enjoying the ride, Amelia. Yeah? It's only about uh, five minutes up the trail, you've got the uh, cafe, so it's probably worth doing on the way back rather than the way up. You're not done much of a walk, um, walk if you go to the cafe before you leave this point. So at this point in the, in the walk, the microphone's packed up for some reason. Uh, just as Natalie was explaining to me, the route we were taking today, and uh, as you can see from the map, there's a few different routes that you can take. You've got the Lock Trail, Summit Trail, the Heath Trail and the Ridge Trail. Now the route we were taking is the Summit Trail which brings you up to the masts on top of Divis and as you'll see later on it'll be very windy. But you've got other routes you can take as well. I think these mileages are all based on from the cafe rather than the lower car park. So uh, I think we did a bit longer than the three miles it says here. But you've got the Ridge Trail as well, it's meant to be good. You get good views of Belfast but to be honest you get good views of of everywhere from all, all of the all of the different routes. You can see Loch May, you can see the Morns in the distance as well. See, it's very busy here today. You can do the route uh, either to the left or to the right at this point. So we're taking a left and doing it this way. Is that clockwise or anti-clockwise? Yeah. I think that's clockwise. <laughs> I think so anyway. the front cover picture actually of the, the video. There's a good sideways one as well, a little, a little profile shot. Uh, it's always difficult to get in with uh, straight on, but with the iPhone it's good because you can uh, yeah. Yeah. put that yeah. on the Or <laughs> boner. Hey. Uh. <laughs> Pause for applause. That might make it in the video. <laughs> oh, did you catch that? Yeah. <laughs>
must be exhausting, Amelia. Amelia's falling asleep. You okay? So we're just back at the car park now, ran out of battery on every camera device I had with me. And Amelia was getting very cold, weren't you, Amelia? So yeah, if you're bringing out young toddlers on walks like this, I think we definitely need one of those backpack things, you know, for carrying it. She was on my shoulders for most of the way, which is good exercise for me, but it means they're not getting much exercise themselves and they're getting colder quicker. She was well wrapped up, but yeah, she's, she's a bit cold now. So we're going to get her a hot chocolate and go for a coffee. But yeah, thanks for watching another episode of What's With Harvey. Uh, see you on the next one. Bye.